the G Technic guys in the house, and they're going to be toting the S15. This is a lot easy. You yeah. Just, yeah. You don't spend all day trying to do two strikes. Tristan's like, oh yeah, I could have just cut that out. Well, you live and you learn, right? First time ever doing knifeless. Oh. Knifeless? Not bad, huh? things I can't deal with any more trauma right now so we're going back to the rotary s15 which is hopefully gonna at least be more reliable than the e36 now we haven't seen the s15 in a while I do have some interior updates for you guys from the guys at drift HQ but right now we're focusing on getting a livery on this car I told you guys the color was gonna slowly start to come in and here is where we're going to add in that fade element and I'm gonna be learning how to a knifeless tape use knifeless tape livery design. Whatever you do with knifeless tape for the very first time. On the S15, we also have the guys from G Technic in town. They're going to be fully coating this thing, but first, let's get the livery on. So I'm going to be using knifeless tape for the very first time, and our goal is to use this beautifully printed fade vinyl and create it into a stripe that sort of follows the body line from the front to the back of the car. And then underneath the fade stripe, I'm gonna have like a matte black accent stripe underneath it just to make the fade pop a lot more. I've never done this before, not professional. So some things I might not be doing exactly correct, but we'll see if it works out. Before I get started, I'm going to wipe the car with Technic panel wipe and then get started. attempting to use knifeless, so I'm pretty happy with it. We ended up being a little bit short at the front. I didn't realize that the crossover point happened just after the vinyl, so I might need to clear that up. The seams were really tricky. I couldn't like cut it and expect the knifeless to go all the way through because then you wouldn't have an area to start the knifeless on the next panel. I was only able to do that with that front piece because I then pulled back from the front, if that makes sense. So yeah, the gaps were a little challenging. I'm sure there's a better, more professional way to do that. I'm not sure of it. If you know, comment below, let me know. I will be done with this by the time you comment below, but I will appreciate it <laughs> for future projects that I try and learn and do myself. But I love it. You can see 
the fans finally coming together. I'm gonna keep the orange tape on here for now. This is essentially how we like mapped out the stripe itself and I wanna use it now as a reference point when we start mapping out the other side. So I can come back and forth, take measurements, to make sure it's as close as possible, but I'm really happy with it. Summary of the times today that my stress spiked. Oh. <laughs> uh, Is it a lot? <laughs> uh, not more than usual, no. But it's just funny because it like it like pings you. It's like, just so you know, <laughs> this is how your day's been. Okay, we officially have our knifeless stripes on the car. Definitely looks a lot better now that we have that second black stripe. And I mean. I feel like this is pretty decent, you know, for a very first attempt. We have an expert in the house. So. Not an expert, but I'm glad to help. So whatever Come needs on. to be done. And you're, more, you're an expert compared to my level. I'm just <laughs> impressed how well you guys did with the knife. So you guys, Paula did fantastic with the knife. So give her some credit too for her first time doing this. So it's not bad. We had to improvise a little bit. Some of the lines didn't translate from the mock-up to the actual car, the body lines as perfect as the design was intended to uh, be laid out, but it looks really, really good and I'm super happy with it. And right now we have the G Technic guys in the house. Ilya and Jordan are here and they're going to be coding the S15 as well. But before the coding starts, Ilya's back here giving a little quick detail. Getting it pressed. So one step polish, hopefully, we're gonna try and get it as nice as possible. And then we will prep it for coating. We'll be installing g Technic Crystal Serum Ultra. Maybe tomorrow morning, if we have some extra time, we'll top it in EXO as well. We got a lot on the plate, so let's get going. Still got a bit of a livery to go, so while Ilya's back there working on car starting polish, I'm going to be finishing off some of the knife lists that we have left to do on the front. So part of the design comes off this main stripe, and then there's some knifeless work right here. And then the rest of it, our text that's already printed. So I like this a lot better. This is a lot easy. Yeah. You, just, you just stick <laughs> it on the car and it's done. Yeah. You don't spend all day trying to do two stripes. But hey, it was a good experience. And then Tristan's like, oh yeah, I could have just cut that out. Yeah, well, you live and you learn, right? <laughs> he has the technology, I guess, to get it perfect to body lines on his computer and you know have a much faster process. So well, no, no. that just means you'll have to do another car and then have me help wrap it again. And then That's we can true. make something really cool. So. Now we're gonna get the car looking all pretty, make it come alive with you technique.
All right, it's official. We got the livery on the S15. And for my very first knifeless job, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Now, the wrap color was a tiny bit off, but I think the front looks good and it at least matches with our Mishimoto intercooler there, the like lighter purple color. And I love, we finally have some color on here and Ilya's making it all pop. Got a nice polish around all of the paint and it is coating time. Coating. It is coating. We're gonna be using the Crystal Serum Ultra. Now this is the professional coating. If you guys remember, the boys were here doing my dad's SRT10 truck. We're gonna be putting the coating on the S15. Um, I think this is just making it further and further into a car that should maybe not be a drift car. If another yeah. car touches this car, I know, I know. That's usually what I do, just like with the Corvette. Um, but I like nice things. Hopefully it'll stay nice. This will help it at least stay nice for a lot longer. So you wanna refresh us all on this process? Step number one. Also that's Jordan, avoiding the camera. I just wanted to. <laughs> usually I'll, well, Brent will just zoom in on people just trying to leave frame, cause it's nice. funny, but. Hey Jordan, nice. <laughs> Okay. Step number one, apply coating to the applicator pad, obviously. First application on an applicator pad, we wanna prime the pad. So we're gonna apply a little bit more than what we generally would for the remaining of the vehicle. Generally, I'm gonna do about two to three pipette fulls. My first section, I'm probably going to follow this hotter hard body line and just mm -hmm. do the whole top of the fender. Yeah, the first time that you taught me how to do this, it was on the what two million dollar car. So that that was a that was a little stressful, not gonna lie, but I appreciate you guys trusting in me. Yeah, Colette's <laughs> very first car was a Zenvo that she coated. If I didn't put the livery on now, I wouldn't be able to put it on after because it wouldn't stick or wouldn't adhere as good, right? Yeah, I maybe like 60 miles on the highway, it'll start peeling off. Yeah. Um, so definitely want to do any vinyl work before we apply a coating. Um, so the coating all, is already ready to uh, be wiped off. Um, you can see tiny little solvent dots. But as soon as we see that, we're gonna go ahead and just start wiping it all off um, using uh, three to four microfiber towels. Then we're gonna go to towel two. And you taught me to always keep your towels organized and numbered. Yeah. You don't want to accidentally pick up the first towel, which will have the most product in it, as like one of the last towels. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And the process is the same for the coating that people can use at home? Yes, so Crystal Serum White is our consumer version. It is much easier to apply in that it is not going to bond as fast to the surface. But yeah, let's go ahead and keep going. officially coated. Big shout out and thank you to the G Technic guys, Jordan and Ilya. We knocked this out last night and it looks absolutely incredible. So they hopped on a plane and they're back to Atlanta and they have left me in charge of doing our final coating. We're gonna be throwing on some EXO V5 on there. This is the best hydrophobic coating that you can get. This is going to increase the dirt and water repellency that our other coating already does. This is going to make it even better and this will add even more gloss and shine to the car if that's even possible. I personally never applied this before, but it's basically the exact same application process that we just did for our ceramic coating. We're gonna have our one, two, three microfibers. We're gonna apply it the same way with our applicator pad. And this stuff though, you can get it. 
This one was a pro level coating, so that has to be installed by a professional, which they do sell a light version of this, but this one is the one that you guys can get at home. It's super easy to apply, very forgiving, and with this, you can work in really large areas because the work time is a lot better and it flashes a lot slower. So this is the last step until we are fully done coating the S15. Let's get it. Keep up. Keep on, 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 keep on
prefers Donnie, the cart automatically goes to Donnie's phone and same with my truck. Oh, that's a big update too. Look at that. What? Is the tack working? Yeah. Dang, dude, look I, at that. I, I thought we were gonna have to do the cool like race car sweep. So that was huge. I wanted as much stock feeling things to actually work. Our fuel gauge also works. Turn signals, headlight switch, starter, yeah. all that stuff like a stock car, but all ran through that Haltech PDM. Look at that, yes! Play that funky music, white girl. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to MTV Cribs My Ride. <laughs> Cribs My Ride. <laughs> oh, we can go read all Chris's messages? Let's oh, go. No. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> oh. Speaker's blown out. Yeah, I'm way too hard. <laughs> I hope the speakers are, are holding up. I think I am, Max. Maybe I it's a it head unit problem? Yeah, it needs an amplifier. It doesn't oh, have as yeah. many watts going out to each, oh, each sounds, speaker. Sounds it's like 25 to 40 watts max to each. Oh, yeah, that makes when sense. When you really want like 100, yeah, 150 to each speaker. So, so it's like, Claude, I think you need, a, you need an amp for it to sound good. All right. You see, we got maps now, because this is going to be the new daily. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're a Pandora guy. Yeah, me too. Weird. Say about That's, Pandora. Pandora still exists. Absolutely. I got the best playlist in the world. Yeah, in the world. So dialed in because I've had it for so long that all my stations are just. Comment below, Team Pandora or Team Spotify. Spotify better win, man. Spotify better win. It looks awesome, Colette. Thank you. Feel free to do a burnout on your way out. You know. Yeah, because we can do that, totally. Well, one day, one that. day, we will We will hopefully be doing burnouts and actually drifting very, very soon. Adam from HTG will be back here, and that is the trip that we're going to dial this thing in on. It has been a little bit of the struggle. You know, we're doing something that's never really been done before and tested in drift application. It's still like a newer build that we're shaking down, but we're hoping in January, we will finally have all the pieces coming together to finally be ripping this thing. And of course, go into Starbucks to get coffee. Because, you know. Backwards. But that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about all of our new tech updates and the new livery. And maybe rate me how'd I do first time knifeless uh, taping. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next video.